Ah. Hello and welcome again to another episode. We are still where we left off in Adlington. Just spite my face just then. It's a really, really nice place. I loved it. Um, I did. Uh, the moorings were fine. You know, there's 48 hours I think you got on there, but uh, they're pretty relaxed in winter. Loads of classic northern boozers and shops and things like that, so it's all catered for really. There's also a massive charity shop right next to the White Bear Marina, uh, which is definitely worth checking out, just because it's so close. While I was moored in Adlington, the Canal and River Trust put on a flotilla uh, as part of the 200 year celebrations of the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. So it was just nice to see all these old boats going past. You can join us if you want. <laughs> I've got to turn around and go the other way actually. You don't fancy but... going down Wigan this afternoon. <laughs> I've done that. Right now we're on the West Pennine Moors on top of the Rivington Pike. Which as you can see, I hope you can see, is quite a sight. Pub of the week this week was the bridge in Adlington, which is where I learned about the town's League of Gentlemen connection. Apparently Royston Vasey was based upon it. I met some amazingly generous people who gave me some free logs and kindling. Are you local? <laughs> this is also where I fancied my chances at the pub quiz and came last and even won the booby prize. So... <laughs> It's not a fancy pub, it's a fun pub, and the locals and people that run it are absolutely brilliant. But let's not dawdle any further. Let's get cranking. Oh, crap. Right. Away. We've got a problem, man. Black smoke's coming out of the engine, so it means that I've got something stuck around the propeller, and I've got to get my hand in there and clean it out. Nice. You might remember on my first video, we did all the engine checks. If you haven't seen it, click on my face. And yeah, we didn't find anything around the propeller, but this time we did. And that's not because there's loads and loads of rubbish in the canals, because um, there is a fair bit of rubbish, but it's more because I got stuck in the mud earlier on and um, you always pick up something whenever you get into shallow water. Trust me guys, that is, that is what happens. In fact, one time, I remember me and my dad were in London and uh, we got stuck at Tottenham. Uh, some people might know where that, that area is, where it's really shallow. And uh, we picked, ended up picking up a big pair of lady Snickers. Uh, it was quite big, uh, really quite big. <laughs> Which was kind of weird, but also very, very funny because uh, they were just like huge granny Snickers that we just pulled off the propeller. <laughs> oh, fun times on the canals. Right, so this is what I just pulled out uh, and instead of just chucking it on the side here, I'm going to pick it up and put it in the bin. So no one else has the same problem. So straight away, that's making such a huge difference. Now we are properly able to crank it. Let's go. Alright, so we're only doing five miles per hour, but it feels fast. Go back, I, I can't go back, yeah. I can't go back, I, I can't go back, yeah. I haven't seen her in quite a while. When I do see Converted Mill here is actually a shopping centre, themed shopping centre, which is not really my cup of tea, so I'm not going to stop. 
And also, I've got to say, Chorley Council, what is that sign doing up there? Take it down. Really beautiful building, but completely ruined by that sign. some locks now so um, we've got about six locks to get through and then we'll see what we can do after that. Before we make our ascent up these locks you can actually see on the left there where the I think that was where the Lancaster Canal joined up with the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. Uh, someone was telling me yesterday. Yeah it's interesting isn't it? If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I, I've only got an iPhone that I'm filming on. I'm trying to save up for a GoPro camera um, so I can sort of strap it on and uh, film all these, these, these weird and wonderful events that happen. For example, just now, look at that, look at the boat, the way it's pulling away from the side. The, the wash from the lock pulled the boat right out and it was, I had to jump on it and um, turn it round so I've just been on a mad chase just now but you wouldn't know any of that because it's hard to film stuff like that when you're holding a phone in one hand so if you want you can um, click on the support button on my channel's homepage and uh, donate something towards uh, me getting some better equipment and I'll, I'll basically give you a massive shout out on the video uh, you get your name in lights and um, yeah I'll just be so so grateful anyway thanks let's get moving You're feeling a little bit fluey today. You know how you get a f the sort of aches and pains in your limbs and stuff. So I'm not really feeling up to it today. But I'm also in a in, in a quite of a rush to get somewhere where I can get a train down to a meeting for work next next week. But you know, travelling on a boat, you just can't rush anything. You just have to just shrug your shoulders and and move on. Just keep cranking. Luckily, I've got some help, so here we go. Right, so right now I'm at a point where I'm facing a lock which has no mooring ring or anything like that. So uh, if it wasn't for Terry, I would not be able to go through very easily anyway. Still feeling a bit ill, but this scenery is certainly making it all worthwhile. Not far from the outskirts of Blackburn at the moment, so um, still countryside. But uh, I have been told about Blackburn being not a very nice place to go to. So yeah, who knows? Let's find out.
Right, I've just got into Blackburn now, so at the bottom lock. I'm not going to do too much of this sort of vlogging filming because it's bloody windy and also there's just a load of scallies around and all that, a load of wrong ones, so um, probably keep it to a minimum. Here we go. Got 99 problems, but a bridge ain't one. <laughs> So I've just arrived in Blackburn and I saw this um, canopy and it's basically called e Anum Wharf, I think it's pronounced. I've got a canopy which hopefully won't block the sun too much for the solar panels. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of the best moorings ever. And who would have thought that, that existed in Blackburn? Like, using a handcuff key. It's one of these. <laughs> You're probably wondering, Robbie, if you're not filming this, then who's filming it? Well, it's actually James who's Hello. joined me. <laughs> Thanks, James. Uh, we're free. Yes! Uh, me and James are going to go and get a pint now, so uh, it's the end of a, end of a day. Uh, this, is, <laughs> this is what you don't see. <laughs> me f***ing <laughs> up. This is why I edit it so many times. Um, yeah, we're going to go and get a pint now. And uh, I think in the next video, we'll explore a little bit of Blackburn and see what that's like. But anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy me next time. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>